Alrighty guys, so I hope you're all having an awesome day and hopefully this art project just makes it a little bit better as well. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do something because this week at school we were supposed to have India Week. Now, part of India Week, people can get decorations on their hands called Mehendi or as we know it, Henna. Now, Henna is used in a lot of Indian different celebrations to decorate the bride's hands, for birthdays, for all kinds of things. And it's just like a temporary design that grows on their hand, stays there for a couple of weeks and then it washes off. Now, do you remember, at the beginning of this year, we all made these handprints and this is what mine looks like to show you guys. We learned how we are all uniquely and wonderfully made by God and we drew on these cool patterns and designs on our handprints to really bring them to life make them unique and you guys even drew unique things on them that reminded me of you okay so we're going to be making hand prints again because i know you've had lots of practice at it but this time you're going to draw your own if you haven't already and instead of using these patterns that we used in class we're going to be putting henna patterns on them so this sheet is available on your class dojo or your seesaw page and you can download that and have a look at it and I've just done a few little drawings and patterns that you could copy. You can do some of your own or you can use mum and dad's help to help you research some different Mehendi and Hannah designs. There are tons of YouTube videos of people doing them. They're a bit complicated, but you can do your own versions of them and they can look really cool. So I'm just going to put this to the side and oh, some blue paint on it. Flip it over. All you're going to need for this project is obviously our design sheet. If you do any research, some examples is good too. Then you'll need a pencil, a texter, an eraser, and some colored pencils or textures if you choose. The very first thing we are going to do is we are going to outline our hand. So carefully put your hand in the middle of the paper. And you might need mum and dad's help for this, or you can try yourself. And you just carefully go around the edge of your hand, outlining your handprint. And we are going to put lots of amazing designs all over our hand to celebrate India Week. So we're pretending we're putting henna on our own hand as if we were celebrating something in India. So I've traced around my hand. Do you notice I didn't go all the way down to the bottom of the page? Because I don't want the wrist. I only want the hand print. So what you do is very lightly with your pencil, you do a nice curved line joining the two to finish off your hand print. Wonderful. Now what we are going to do is we are going to fill it with all of these really cool Mehendi or Henna designs. And you can pick how you want to do it, but I just want to see that your whole hand is covered in some really cool designs. So I'm going to start by doing a pattern like this over the bottom of the hand. So all I'm going to do is some curvy lines laid on top of each other to cover the bottom of your palm. All right, now on here, you can see that I've got the little um, little hoops on top and then some dots. So I'm just gonna take my pencil and do the little hoops. Now I want you to think to yourself, why do you think I am using pencil first instead of just starting straight with texture? What do you reckon? All right, now you've had a little think. The answer is that we are actually just wanting to make sure that we can rub out any mistakes we make so that we can be really happy with our design. And we can always use texture at the end. So there's my very first layer. Then I'm going to do some of these stripes that have different thicknesses. And I'm gonna do it over the thumb. I'm just gonna draw some stripes. I'm going to make some of them thicker than the other ones just by colouring it in around it. Going backwards and forwards to make my lines thicker. Now we're going to make it look really nice and neat when we're finished with the whole thing. Okay? So we've got some lines here and I might even, I'm thinking I'm going to put some of these designs on top of those lines. So do you see how I'm combining the different designs to make different patterns? Cool. So there's my thumb done. Now I might draw, I might draw this one on one of the fingers. So I'm just going to draw a nice little curvy line going all the way down and a second curvy line next to it going all the way down. Then I have my little loops. Going next to it. 
Now, if you can think of other designs, that would be awesome. Maybe you could get mum and dad to sit down and help you think of some designs. But you've already done some really great practice ones in class. So, what else could we do? I think I'm going to put some of these little flowers right here in the bottom of the hand. So to do that, all you do is you start with a spiral that's attached as a circle. You then make pointed curvy lines coming out of the side of it, so round and up, round and down. And you can practice on another piece of paper making these shapes. You could even trace them if mum and dad can print them out or they can do them for you. And now I have a nice little design. I'm just gonna add some dots coming out of it. Then I'm going to do one of these spiral patterns down a finger. So I'm gonna start at the top and I'm just going to make a nice spiral going down like that with the dots being nice and big at the top and getting smaller as we go towards the bottom of the finger. Awesome, okay, what else could we do? I'm going to do some more stripes, I think. I'm going to do some of these patterns over this finger here. So all we do is some straight lines with some little hoops on top of the lines. Awesome, all right, we're almost done. I'm just gonna do a design, see what we come up with. So I'm going to do more of these petals down here. I'm going to and there we have a finished hand design. Now, we've done the basics. I'm now going to take a permanent marker or a texter. You can use whatever color you like. I like using black like we did in class so that we can see everything. I am now going to be very busy and I'm going to outline everything that I've done. To do that, you just very carefully trace over the lines that you've already made. And you'll find that just like we did in class, your hand print will start to look really cool and will nicely stand out. So I'm gonna quickly go do that. I'll turn my camera off and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all finished, all right? Alrighty, so this is my finished design. I have added a couple of more little details, like these little lines in here, some more little hoops across the top, just because I think it needed a little extra something. And feel free to do that to yours as well. As your artwork, get creative. All we're doing is imagining that we were putting henna on our own hands to celebrate something in India. I wonder what celebration your henna could be for. Now, what you're going to do is your final step is I want you to color it in all bright colors, um, just like we practiced with the handprints we did in class. So get your pencils out, color it in, and I would love to see what it looks like when you're done. You can cut it out, you can stick it on some colorful paper, or you can leave it on here nice and neatly. Don't forget, color in carefully, stay inside the lines, do your very best. I can't wait to see your artworks when you get to either email me or you upload it to your class page with mum and dad's help. Or if you get to join our Zoom call, you can actually show me in our call. Alrighty, well, I miss you guys and I hope you're having a great time at home. Good luck.